A sweeping piece of legislation to overhaul and toughen New Mexico's sex trafficking laws could also finally open the door for trafficking victims to reclaim money from the criminals who have exploited them. News 13's Chris McKee explains. He had just turned 17 years old and I met a man and um, began to work underage at a local strip club in New Mexico. They are powerful stories from women who are victims of sex trafficking in New Mexico. The kidnapping and the rape every day, multiple times a day. Their perspectives shared with state lawmakers this week as part of an effort to pass House Bill 237, a major proposed overhaul of the law aimed at cracking down on pimps and empowering the victims whose bodies were sold for sex. By the time I even realized I was a victim, statute of limitations was up on four of them. We believe that we'll have a safer New Mexico as a result of this. Kathleen Burke is a victim's advocate on the state's human trafficking task force, which ramped up its work in part after allegations of sex crimes involving billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. Our penalties are very low regarding sex trafficking. The bill seeks to change that by in part making trafficking of any minor a first degree felony and making anyone convicted register as a sex offender. This really addresses the public safety component of protecting vulnerable people and young females in particular. Those convicted of sex trafficking could also be forced to pay victims restitution, which would be a first. A lot of sex trafficking victims, all of their wages are taken by the trafficker, if not all, most. And so in this case, Hopefully they will they will get some restitution. Sponsors hope it sends a clear message. We don't want to become a safe haven for billionaire sex traffickers or any other kind of sex trafficker. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. That trafficking bill is expected to go to a full House vote next. It still has to pass the Senate.